Hey guys, so today I want to share all Gracie's favorite books, also my favorite books for her. I have them separated in sections. Here are the books that she automatically grabs and has me read to her. These are books that we read at bedtime, and then these books are educational books. They teach us her stuff like the ABCs, colors, um, numbers, and stuff like that. So yeah, she basically loves all these books. She absolutely, in general, loves all kinds of books. She just loves reading. I've been reading to her since she was a little baby. I do want to say that this video is a toddler topic from the group on Facebook, Toddler Topics. I'll have the link down below if you guys would like to go ahead and check it out. It's a great group. I really love it. They share so many ideas and they also do toddler topics on all kinds of stuff, videos on their YouTubes. There's so many ladies out there and it's really, really fun. So yeah, like I said, these are all her all-time favorite books. This book she absolutely loves. This is like her all-time favorite right now. She brings me this one every, every day and she really, really loves it. Please excuse my nails. I was kind of like peeling them off um but yeah anyway she really loves this book this one teaches her like the colors and you know about the animals and stuff like that and so yeah we really really like this book right now this is like our number one book right now she also really enjoys this one grandma and me she really loves like the pop-up book she's only three and a half so she's still really into like the pop-up books this book here she really really likes i really don't know why because i think it's just like a pop-up book that's the reason but I think this is a great book and I really love that she loves this book because it teaches her manners like it teaches her please, thank you, excuse me and I just think it's a great book. It teaches her so many um, good things so I'm really really happy that she likes this book. This one right here is really nice. She really likes this one as well. I also like this one because you know it has like all the colors. We talk about the colors and then it just talks about giving. This book here she truly truly loves. She was really into this book for a while. She still is but more for a while back then and it was funny because I don't know I think it's the pop-up books you know she really enjoys like the pop-up books and um yeah, I think it's a good um, way to teach her, like, you know, to say sorry, and it's okay, because sometimes when things happen, I'm like, oh, this happened, or she's like, oh, this happened, and she says sorry to me, or I'll say sorry to her, she'll repeat like, oh, it's okay, we can build it again, or it's okay, we can dry it off, or stuff like that, and it's super cute to hear her, like, say these stuff, and, you know, it's good for her and to learn and everything. This book is not very educational, but she really likes it. It's the Honey Bunny Funny book, and it just, I don't know, they went crazy here, but she really likes this book. I think it's funny to her, um, all the stuff that the brother does to his sister, and then, yeah, she really likes this book, so... Um, yeah, I really like it for her too because we had a few laughs. This book here, she really enjoys. It's kind of messed up already, as you can see. They rip off some stuff, and this book has been around for a while. She really likes reading this book, and, you know, I don't know what happened. She just went crazy here, but, you know, it just teaches her about, like, her body parts, and it's really cute. I think it's nice, and this one, she always used to pull her hair, and, like, you see, this is, like, washable marker. I have to take this off, but, yeah, she really loves this book. As you can tell, she's been messing with it as well, so it moves those little feet like that, too. And here is another pop-up book. She really enjoys this book as well. Um, yeah, she really loves all these pop-up books. It talks about all the feeling silly, sleepy, grumpy, happy. And she really likes this book. And she likes the ending as well because of the mirror, you know. I tell her, make a grumpy face, make a happy face, and she'll do all the faces. And it's super cute. This section here are books that we read at bedtime. I try to keep it like bedtime related books because, you know, it kind of helps her to like understand that it's bedtime. You know, she already knows, you know, she's in a routine and everything for bedtime. But still, I feel like all these books like are bedtime related are helpful for her to actually go to sleep. Like, for example, she's having like a hyper day or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, she really loves, loves, loves this book, 10 Tiny Babies. It's a great book because, you know, we can count the babies and you know talk about what the babies are doing and then over here where all their feet are she loves to count like the feet and then she always says that's mommy daddy Lika, jasmine and her and it's just the cutest thing ever this is a book we love to read it's count your blessings i like to include like god 
um, books because, you know, she gets to learn about God and everything. And so this is a really nice book because it teaches her about being grateful, about her blessings and everything. So, yeah, it's a really nice book. This book here is one of my favorites. I really love this book. This book is a book that I actually took to the hospital the day that she was born. And I read it to her then. So this was like the first book I ever read to her. So this is a very special book for me. And also for her because she really likes these books. I have a series of books here. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree like years ago, like when I was pregnant. So they're all the kinds. This is my angel, praying, loving, caring, bring in the air, and sharing. And they all have like a Bible verse and everything. So it's really, really cute. We also really enjoy reading the Good Night Moon book. I'm sure this is a book that you guys know because um it's a very known book so yeah we really enjoy this one and this is also one of our favorite favorite books the going to bed book and it's really nice you know because it teaches like the whole um thing about going to bed you know taking a shower and then brushing their teeth and putting on pjs and stuff like that so she really enjoys this book and then these books here are books that we really enjoy when we're doing preschool at home. Also just any time of the day she'll pick like maybe this one or the this one because it has like animals and stuff. Yeah, she'll pick some of these books to just read randomly. But yeah, I like to include these for preschool at home because, you know, it has like the colors and the, um, like this one has the fruits, all kinds of fruits. And, you know, you could talk about the seeds and the colors of them and stuff like that and this one's like the ABC obviously and this is really nice because it has like the letter and then um, F is for frog and then it has and fish so they're like little pop-up ones too so yeah these are really nice and they could also like trace with their finger like this and then she also has the numbers um, this one's also the same she can trace and then it has two two dogs number two hides here so you know one dog and then number two hides in here and you know it has up to like number 20. also this book is really nice it has like a couple animals the ones here and then their colors and it actually says the color and the sound of the animals so it's really nice you know we could talk about the sounds of the animals and you know the colors and like I said she loves pop-up books so she really enjoys this one it's a book that I like for her um, it's a pretty long book and it's not like for her age or anything but you know it talks about God and I like to include it in our books because you know she could learn little by little how the beginning was so yeah this book here is really nice it has like all kinds of animals in here um, African animals, pets, farm babies, pets, and on the farm, and just, you know, all these animals. I try to, um, teach her how the animals go, and, you know, the name of the animals, and stuff like that. So, she really enjoys this book, you know, what kid doesn't love animals. And last but not least, this is a book that we also enjoy reading. Um... This book is really nice because, you know, it teaches everything that they need to know before they're five. And, um, yeah, it just talks about, like, little, um, big, these are opposites, hard, easy, and then, like, full, empty, push, pull, stuff like that. And then in the beginning, it has, um, like, the numbers, and then it has, um, what else? And then it has, like, all the numbers here. And then over here it has like the ABCs and the shapes and like the weather, the seasons. So you know, it's really, really nice, very educational. So it's a really nice book. It teaches a little bit about everything. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be, honestly, because I talk a lot. But yeah, I hope you guys got some ideas of type of books that you can read to your toddler um all these books were either given to us or purchased at like a discount store yard sales and stuff like that so yeah i really really enjoy having many books for her a variety of kind of books you know like learning books fun books bedtime books all kinds of books are always very very important to have for your toddler because that teaches them that books are really important for their life and then once they go to school, it's easier for them to, like, you know, learn to read and everything. So 
always read to your kids even though you think they're not listening or they're playing with other little toys always try to read to them they are listening they are paying attention and eventually they'll sit there next to you and read books with you i'm telling you this because gracie is three and a half now before she used to be like that and now she'll just sit there patiently and read the books with me and now she reads them on her own like she'll remember the words and she'll go ahead and read the book on her own i'll find her reading it and it's super super amazing i really feel very proud of her and very happy that, that my hard work is paying off because you know I see her interested in books and trying to read and I'm pretty sure that she's going to be great in reading so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below that's a pear it's yellow is that a banana where's the lemon where's the lemon Lemon. Where's the pear? Pear. Where's the color yellow? Yellow. Yellow, right? A ver. What's this? Cake. What's that? Ah. Uh, uh, you eat it? Me. What's that? Stroller. Stroller. What's this? Balloon. Balloon. Good job. What's that? Car. A car. What's that? Chair. Chair. What's this? Table. Table. What's that? Umbrella. Umbrella. What's this? Ducky. Ducky. Good job, Gracie. They're going to bed. Go back down. I go back down. Amen. Hmm. Mama puts on just a little princess. And she was being a, and she was a princess. She was mad and grumpy. And she was being a girl. Rumber, rumber, what do you see? Red bird, red bird, what do you see? Little dog, little dog, what do you see? I see teacher looking at me. No, I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.